Hey guys, it's McKenna and today we are going to be preparing for the apocalypse. If you don't know, the world is kind of ending right now. Um, there is the coronavirus and everyone's freaking out and buying all the toilet paper for some reason. It's like 8 o'clock at night, so this wasn't like the best time to be doing this, but um, we're on a little mission and we're going to go to like a few places to see if we can find things if we're stuck inside of our house for like three million years because that's how everyone's acting. We're at Target right now. We're going to see, see what, what they, they have. Got. See what they got. So, yeah, these are what we go. go I'm surprised they have bottled water. This morning they did not. They did bottled not. water. Not go to Target if you need bottled water. Yeah. Okay. Cleaning supplies. The soap. That's all that's left. This was disinfecting wipes. These are all the Clorox wipes. None. Yeah, this is all your bleach. And your Clorox cleaning stuff, you know, cleaning yeah. spray and stuff. None of those. There's where you get your toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Which you ain't getting any. Wow. That's all paper towels down there. Paper towels oh. is that one. This one's. My gosh. Come on, now they're taking all the paper towels. <laughs> this is crazy. It's kind of scary. A little bit because people are going to. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Deerberg's because Target does has nothing. Yeah. Um, this is kinda scary. I haven't really been to any of the stores since this has been happening, so I couldn't really imagine what like what, the, I was what it looks about. like, that there's like nothing here. Right. Um, so yeah, kinda of crazy. Right, okay, so we're in Deerberg's. They had cards. Good sign. No toilet paper. None. <laughs> they have lots of paper towels though. We do have paper towels, you can get napkins. Do you have a little bit of bleach? Yeah. People just come and buy them by the pieces. You can see the kind that people like and the kind that people don't like, though. Right, that's true. We're at Walgreens, right? Yeah, that's where we are. Ready? None. <laughs> what is happening? Gone. Gone, 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 gone. Ain't got nothing. Alcohol sprayer? Oh, it's all the alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Oh, what is this thing? It's all the rubbing alcohol. Oh my god. I don't think I'll have Yep, don't got anything here either. Moving on. Okay, so now for our last stop of the night, we are at Dollar General to see like a dollar store has anything because I feel like most people wouldn't think to come to a dollar store. They'd go to like Walmart or Target or something. Oh, the big chains. There's the toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, paper towels. Yep. Yep. Okay, so right now we are going to be making hand sanitizer or attempting to make hand sanitizer. Um. <laughs> Where? Oh, and the travel thing! So I, whenever we go on vacation, my mom has this like bag that we always bring that has like toiletries in it, like little toothpaste that we only keep for travel. <laughs> it's a purse hand sanitizer in it. So hand sanitizer. This is apparently how you make it. This was what Google told me. So make this at your own risk. But you need... What's this? Like rubbing alcohol, it said 91%. So, so over what you're making, we're not making like the exact recipe that I found because that's two thirds cup of the alcohol and then one third cup of aloe vera gel. Um, but I'm just doing two of these to like one of those. So there's the alcohol in the bowl. Okay, spoon. We're gonna mix it up. This bowl is not really big enough. And I almost forgot, we're also putting essential oil in it. So it smells good. This is frankincense essential oil because this is the biggest one that i have but i don't really want to waste my other ones i just turn my diffuser so we're just gonna put a little okay Alrighty, here's our homemade hand sanitizer gel um looks sanitizery smells again like a doctor's office
I'm not sure if it's doing anything, but. So that was our journey of, um, you know, getting ready for the apocalypse, getting ready for the world to end, I guess you could say. I don't know. I kind of have like mixed feelings about everything that's happening because like it is kind of a big deal. We need to like be careful about what we're doing and wash our hands, but like the world isn't ending. It's not like the Black Plague where like, oh, if you get it, you die immediately. Um, so yeah, we just need to wash our hands, stay away from sick people. We should be good, hopefully. I think there's like two people that for sure have it in Missouri and then like two people that think they have it, but I don't know if their tests have come back yet. But let me know um, what it's like where you're living. If like you can find toilet paper or like if anyone has it there or anything like that, let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure that this going up as a bonus video, so hi. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys this Sunday with a new video.